Hey everybody, thanks for taking a couple of minutes to check out my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some uh, queen bee marking. But first I'm going to talk about uh, why you mark queen bees, what color you mark them, and, uh, and show a couple things I'm going to use to actually mark the queen bees. First, why do you mark queen bees? And there's two basic reasons why you mark them. The first is so uh, you can find them in the hive nice and easy. If they're, they're a lot easier to find a queen if there's a nice bright dot uh, on her back. And the second reason is so you can tell how old they are. So that leads me into what colors you mark them. There's a, a nice easy acronym for it. It's called, or it says, uh, will you raise good bees? There's five different colors. First one is white, and that's for years ending in a one or a six. And then the next one is yellow. That's for years ending in two or seven. Then there's red. That is for years ending in three or eight. And then there's green which is years ending in four or nine, and then there's blue for years ending in zero or five, five or zero, whichever way you want to say it. For example, last year in 2020, they would have been marked blue, but this year they're going to be marked in white because it's 2021. It's going to be very, very unlikely that a queen mark this year will make, will make it to 2026. Man, that's a long ways off though. So yeah, basically we're gonna follow that rotation. So next year they'd be marked yellow, and then the year after that be marked red and so forth. Now, how am I gonna mark queens? So I got me a handy dandy little non-toxic water-based paint marker, basically, in white. And I also got, I think this is called a one-handed queen catcher, something like that. I think it was like five bucks off of eBay or Amazon. It was really only like five or six dollars, literally. And it has a little nice spongy thing here that you push up to trap the queen. And it has a nice little sliding gate thing here. Like, so if I can put that over top the queen, slide that, and I'm going to attempt to slide this up and pinch the queen up to here to mark her. So let's take some time well, to a couple of splits that I made this year. I know I got three splits, and I'm going to try to mark all three of them today. If it all goes in the same order or the same things happen on all three, uh, I'll probably just show one in the video here. But if I run into different complications or something, I might show more than one. So let's go out to the hives and, and try to mark a queen for the first time. Okay, so here are the three splits I made this year. I used to be a buy and die beekeeper. I would buy bees, they would die. Then I would buy more bees the next year and they would die again. It, it got really frustrating, but I always knew I had brand new queens. And I guess that was the only advantage of it. But now I'm a more doing a better job of self-sustaining all my hives. And but I've never marked queens before. So I'm gonna get into here, hopefully find the queen. These hives should be still relatively small in size. I shouldn't have a difficult time finding her. Okay, I found the queen right here. Let you take a look at her. She's right here. And I watch some of these guys, they just grab her and pick her off and do it, but I'm too afraid that I'll crush her and hurt her. Well, that was part was pretty fairly easy went easier than expected now she's in here and I just need to slowly slide this plunger up here and I'm trying to get her back right between two of these bars I think I'm gonna have to push down on these to hold her still though if I can get her right there I'm going to let her dry before I reintroduce her back into the hive though. Okay, well she's all marked. It went fairly easy. I'm going to put all the frames, put this frame back in and reintroduce her back into the hive. 
There we go, success on my first ever queen marking. Now I'm gonna see how she looks on the frame here. She's a lot easier to spot now. I got a little bit on her wings. I hope that's not a horrible deal. But I did the best I could. Okay, so let's try out the second hive. The holes on here are small enough for the worker bees to get out of, but the queen can't get out. Here she is. I'm going to put a little less on this girl, I think. And let it dry quite a bit more. There she is. dab of paint and I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes this time so lesson one I think I might have introduced the first one back in too quickly and it still had the smell of the paint and stuff on it and the bees the worker bees were all over all right so I'm gonna let this girl dry and then get on to the third hive okay so on to the third hive uh, this hive is going to be a little bit stronger because this was a hive that I, I split just completely in half. The first two were walkaway splits where I stole a few hot, uh, a few frames out of a hive and split them that way. If you want to see any videos from this year, I'll put a link at the end to uh, this playlist. And you can see some of the, uh, the splits and stuff I made and uh, the virgin queens and whatever. Right here is the queen. I just spotted her. This is one of the darker queens. She's not as big as the other two that I just marked. She's right here. Crawling along, doing her business. But she's a real uh, dark looking. But she's laying really, really well. Okay, I got her in here. The thing is slid up as far as it goes. I just need to get her pinned down here. There we go. Oh man, she's got her head out of there. Come on, calm down. I guess it's really nice she's that active. She got out. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. She got out of there. All right, she's a skinny queen. She fit right through there. I can't even believe it. I almost lost her. I gotta get her held here somehow. She's a skinny little queen. She crawled right out of there. I think I got a little bit of paint on her antennas and I think that's a bad thing. Okay, so here she is. She's a skinny little bugger. She's squirmed right out of these holes. This might be dangerous having her out in the open, but I had a little wee bit of paint on her antenna, but it looks like they cleaned that off already. And I got a little bit of paint on her wing. If there's anybody here that's pretty experienced on doing marking queen and stuff, uh, please let me know if I did good, bad, or ugly, or, or whatever, so. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you all have a blessed day. It's nice and it's a beautiful day out today. All right, have a good one, everybody.